Peace and blessings, y'all. How you doing? This is your boy, Jerl. And I'm about to start my day. Before I start my day, I'm just going to take a second. I know some of you have already entered into your Thanksgiving break. Um, last weekend, actually, in the kitchen, smelling nostalgia and start some of you are starting to finally position yourself to find and begin your journey wherever you are just take a second just take a second to ground your feet And be thankful for where you are right now. Right at this moment, I need you to take a snapshot in your mind, in your spirit, where you are. Now look back where you were beginning of this year. Look back. Reflect on all those conversations, all those connections that were forged, all those desires that you said to yourself, this is the way I'm going to go. Just a second. Reflect on those things that were obstacles, challenges, or possible delays. Just take a second and ponder. You may start to see a correlation now because where you were January 1, 2015 should not match where you are 24 November of twenty of 2015. You got to bear with me, y'all, because it is early. But I've got love for each and every one of you. So I'm going to give you that second. I want you to ponder on all the things that seemed that were firm. that only revealed to be temporary. See, these things had to happen. They had to happen to get you to get you to where you are now. Do you not see the correlations that have occurred? These are all the makings of you. That's why I keep echoing it in your spirit. You are priceless. There will never be another you. Let me make that clear. There will be, there will never be another you, ever. So right now, because I know somebody said, I ain't got time, Joe. I ain't got time. You've got time because you're breathing. So if you're breathing, you can reflect. But you'll also understand this. See, the person you were yesterday is not the person you are now. This is all preparation for that blessed and loved person you are going to become. Because, see, you're still on your journey. You still got work that has to be done. See, that don't go away because guess what? It is etched in your DNA. It is found in your spirit. And it is fortified 
with your smile. So now we are in the midst of fall, y'all. The temperatures are starting to fall. Your commitments should be firm. So just give yourself a second. So now we're going to sit down at the table, break bread, and stir up affirmations of what's to come. We are only a, th a stone's throw before the conclusion of this year. And guess what? That is nothing but the bricks that are made in the journey called your life. So some of you are starting to become a little bit more serious now because you see what is at stake. But when it comes to you, why would you accept anything less? So, no, it's not about that turkey. It's not about that cranberry juice. It's not about that macaroni. It's not about that itis as you rub your belly three times and drift into slumber. What you should be thankful most of all is you witness it. This is your reality. And it is blessed. So tomorrow, when you sit down, just give yourself a second. Take in everything that you are seeing, good or bad. Take note. If you don't like it, have the courage to change it. And the only way you can change it, you must ground your feet. And the only way you can ground your feet is you got to have the fortitude to speak your truth. You deserve it, y'all. You deserve it. So, I'm extending this out to each and every one of you. You are loved. You're prayed for. And you deserve to be happy. If you're not, don't you think it's time that you question why you're not? Come on. Now on the sidebar. Yeah. There are those that are going to be in the reality of being alone. You're not alone. God loves you. And I guarantee you this. Before the day's out, you're going to have a revelation too. You're going to know that his presence is near. Because guess what? You still got to fulfill that promise. And you will. You will. God is praying for you. You know I am. I see your worth. And for that, for that, for that, it helps me discern mine. What is the greatest thing to be thankful is you get to wake up and try again. It's your life. It's time to do the work and claim it. Be blessed, y'all. And for those that are driving, please be safe. You have those that want you, they want to see you the same way that you left. All right. Take care of yourself, y'all. Bye.